I want to sh again. I want to show you my process of of creating something like this uh, from the beginning. But the beginning starts with a sketch. And like I said earlier, the sketch started out really rough. Like I wasn't. I was trying to draw something else, and then like I kind of just kind of just went with it, like and like adapted. You know, as I as I drew as I sketched along, I'm like, oh, I started out wanting to do a car, and then all of a sudden. I started adding things on the bottom, right? So now, all of a sudden, it becomes like a like a spaceship canopy kind of thing. So I started sketching from that direction. I start with the big shapes, and now I'm working with the small details. A lot of details are going to be in the uh, in the cockpit. So with the cockpit, I started to grab real images and I start to start to reference those images, start to look at them, and just to, to at least get. A little better idea of what a cockpit chair you know things like that should look like okay so now I'm working on the little details at this point this is still sketching I spend a lot of time sketching a lot of rotations uh, a little bit of line work to kind of clean things up a little bit of my so now I'm adding like the tiny minor details so you start with big you kind of figure out what kind of a big shape it is and then you start adding little things so now i'm playing with small details like the vents and things like that kind of bouncing back and forth between all my sketches yes and again tiny little details what i'm always paying attention to is i'm trying not to fill my my design with a, with too many details like like i wanted to leave that 70 80 percent of my drawing Whoa, yeah. Basically, basically blank. I want that 70, 80% basically blank. So by the time it finished with my sketch, and this is a, you know, it's a fairly finalized, fairly detailed kind of sketch, but it's still kind of rough, right? So now I feel comfortable enough to move on and bring it into, you know, and start adding colors. So the first thing I did when I bring into color is is I start by giving it a background color. Okay, in the background color, usually it's something kind of muted, like a like a like a light gray or like a mid-tone gray or something like that. Okay. And at first what I start out doing is I block out a a a layer of solid color just to cover the entire shape does that make sense so far yeah so I don't at this point I don't really care that much about color yet then I start adding colors so in this case I know my craft is mainly gonna be gonna be you know yellowish so I add a yellow first so when I add a color I first don't think about shading that much, so I so my th this is where I get to first, like, like I want to just block out the shape to start with, like this. Then I start to worry about the shading. I know last week we started talking about shading, right? We 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 talked about shading with with marker. This the same idea is is applicable here, but it's just with a digital brush. So now I'm just adding some shades. Kind of determine where the light and the shade is then i add the background okay i as you notice i probably i did this once like i'm going back i did this once i kind of don't like it so i do it again so there's going to be a lot of that you know you do you try something once don't like it you start over you know and try it again and then you don't like it start over you know so in this case i really start over you know I kind of start over with a uh, with with a gray, you know, with a grayish shape like this. Okay. I started not by and this time around I decided I just I started not by adding too much color, but rather I add more of a shade. Like I want I wanted to keep the color the same first. I don't really really want to worry about this is going to be yellow. This is going to be be, be green or whatnot. I just want uh, so, something kind of grayish 
and then I, I want to start adding value to it. There's going to be bright parts to it. There's going to be dark parts to it. I want to shade it first. Then I worry about what color it's going to be. Okay. So I did some shading. You know, between here and here is probably like few hour, few hours of work. <laughs> okay. So. So adding a little bit of detail of coloring. Now I add in some colors to just to, to really uh, to really start finalizing everything I add in colors but at this point nothing is nothing is shiny yet so when I add colors I first add just enough colors to show the base color of things I don't I don't worry too much about reflections or whatnot this, these are the, the those are the stuff that I haven't I haven't quite taught you yet um, not that much. I know we talked about it, uh, but first I worry. About, first I care about shading, then I care about the base color, which is what you see right now, the yellow. Then after I get the base color, I start adding the the final touches, which are the uh, which are the, the the reflection and the and the uh, the highlights. I haven't even added that much reflection yet. This is still a a work in progress but it's nearly complete you know I've so I've I've done enough to add highlights a little bit of reflection to my craft so this is where this is where everything is at right now and uh, if you will the f the final product with uh, with a uh, um, uh, with a with a line drawing in place looks something like this again work in progress but gives you an idea of how you start from zero to almost a hundred percent. This is like 85, 90% complete, you know? So does that make sense a little bit? Yeah. Okay. I mean, hopefully this gives you a good overview of how things are done in the professional design world. Okay. Yeah. So hopefully that, helps you a bit gives you an idea i'm gonna stop this right now how do i stop this